Nice. Well, I'm Carlos. I'm from Workplace Team. So this uh, issue was basically to uh, improve the appointment uh, activity. So let's say we have some appointment activity created in some course. As a learner, of course, we can. Uh, previously, we only have uh, we were only those uh, filters, session starting and session status. So we introduce. Uh, this new uh, filter session availability and also we uh, introduce a, uh, another one a low waiting list i will show you later what is about it so uh, this user basically uh, in the past only have the possibility to see uh, which uh, session are not started but yeah okay i can see the the session with some sit available probably or only with uh, the time is not uh, in the past, but what about the session that are some uh, seats available uh, really? So we can use the session availability new filter to see which one are, for instance, empty. So now you can see only the session that are able to be bucket to this uh, learner user. And also there is an option, for instance, where session is full, but the administrator or the teacher uh, had the possibility to uh, join to wait list. So this user can wait for some other attendant to cancel the uh, appointment and his uh, advices, of course, by uh, email to say, okay, you are now uh, able to book this new uh, seat available in the session. So that's it. We take in consideration this new part of the the filter uh, of course you can only filter the the session that is able to generally by waitlist even if are not any uh, seats available so yeah i think would be so helpful to the learner to you know just show the the session that he need to come so that's it thanks okay thanks carlos yeah, before and this functionality, we only had, uh, we didn't have a very useful filter, so uh, we choose what the user had to see, which is not good always. So, yeah, let's move on. Thanks, Adrian, for making me a presenter again. So, this is the other feature I was uh, talking about in the summary. It is taking a lot of time because uh, it requests changes in a lot of places. Um, but we're getting there, it's almost ready. So um, this is about improving the department and position selectors, uh, selector UX for big organizations, because this is how it looks right now uh, before um, adding this functionality. There's no way to set in, in the hierarchy of positions or departments and, um, and you see all of them together in the list. If you can imagine that if you have hundreds of positions or departments, this is not very usable. So uh, we're changing this to add um, an autocomplete. And in the quick search, you will be able to see the full path, well, the, 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 the path of the um, position or the department in the hierarchy, and you can search for them. Um, it's very responsive and, and fast, uh, which uh, it's very uh, handy for, as I said, sites with a lot of positions and, and departments. This is a change that we need to do in a lot of places because audiences are uh, used across the whole product. Um, and we need to show that this works in all cases. So we have also some uh, backs and forth with the accessibility of the selected was not, uh, it was not fully accessible. So we had to make some changes and send it back to integration. So this will be ready and will make it very easy, easy to see. So uh, another feature that we have added is a list of custom pages. This was be, uh, requested by the by a partner long time ago, uh, but we have uh, took the opportunity to do this as part of the custom menu, which is another feature that we are uh, will we'll be working on soon. And the custom home page, the two separate features that will need somehow the ability to have unlisted custom pages. And unlisted custom pages is, is basically a page. Uh, a custom page that is not displayed in the primary navigation, but the link to this page can be uh, still shared with users, can be added to other pages, and um, 
the page will still have an audience. So, um, so we can create content for a specific audiences that is not displayed in the primary navigation and set uh, only with them. This is very handy and, and as I said, it's needed for all the features that we'll talk about soon. And we had this functionality that was available in the product before to copy the URL, which is very handy with this functionality. And uh, finally, we can say that we have achieved the uh, WCAG 2.1 AA accessibility compliance. It is compliance or product. It's been a long, long road to get to here uh, with a lot of paperwork in the last phase. And I just want to give a shout out to uh, Brett because I have copied a lot of the um, templates he did for the VPAD and it proved to be super useful. And, and yeah, so we are about to announce it, but we have the statement of accessibility conformance and, and, and we have everything ready to finally announce this. Um, and I want to remark this that by prioritizing accessibility, we're ensuring that Moodle WordPress can be used effectively by all learners, educators, regardless of their abilities and our assistive technologies they may use. This is very important because we, when doing this, we found out that there were a lot of places you know, product that, was, that were not fully accessible for screen readers and other technologies. And I think this is super important. So we're very happy that we well, finally can say that we have this uh, accessibility accreditation. And this is the seal of approval, which is a uh, hilarious gift. Sorry, I had to add it. Uh, we also work on other interesting fixes and enhancement. I just put some of them in here. We made some, uh, we fixed some, um, Backs on on appointments, something with also with the CSVs. Uh, I think you raise your hand, Martin. Do you have any questions? Sorry, no, that was an accidental click inside of Vision Pro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I thought it was a comment about the seal of a pro. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, so um, on the discovery and design, just wanted to highlight a, a couple of things. We're working, we finally finished the prototypes for the custom homepage design. This is a very exciting feature that we're going to use and uh, uh, that will finally improve the, uh, cast the homepage in, in Moodle because the front page and, and the way that the home page can be customized, it's, it's dot very good UX in Moodle LMS. So um, with this functionality, we're going to allow users to design the start page for uh, a Moodle WordPress sites using a standard Moodle blocks with the custom pages features, which uh, saying it in another way, it is basically the ability to select a custom page as the uh, start page for users. Um, we have the prototypes ready and the development will start uh, really soon. This feels like magic. And uh, last but not least, uh, the program self-allocation discovery. This is taking uh, a lot of time because it's a very complex problem to solve. And in essence, it's, it's a way of bringing um, all enrollment plugins to programs, which are not courses. Uh, and we have, um, we have an approach that we want to validate that then we're not really sure because either option that we pick to implement this it is it turns out to be a massive uh project but we think that the, the idea that using cover courses it is probably the more feasible one so uh we we stopped the discovery we created the prototypes to validate this um approach and in the next sprint Marino is going to do a tech spike is going to we're going to conduct this tech spike with the proof of concept of this and then we'll get together again to decide if we want to go that uh, way. But one way or another, this is way too big to be added to 4.5. So in 4.5, we're pretty confident that we'll not have program support in the catalog. It is impossible if we don't want to, if we want not to rush it. So we are uh, prioritizing all the things for the catalog that are great improvements, like the feature courses, while we, um, we take our time to complete the discovery of this that will be a game changer in, in Moodle WordPress. So we really need to take time to, to design it. And yeah, that's all. This is us trying to uh, find a solution for the self-allocation discovery.